everything is racist. Every thought you have is a KKK dream. Everything is racist. White supremacist extreme. Yes, you know it, I know it. The squirrels living in my attic know it. Everything is racist. Today's racist journey takes us across the Atlantic to Paris, France, where a protest erupted in front of a Dior fashion boutique. What were they protesting? This! It's a, it's a black Dior skirt. Now, can you spot the cultural appropriation? <laughs> no, that's because you're a racist, like everything and everyone else. This particular skirt, which costs damn near four grand, by the way, just a black skirt, is drawing comparisons to a horse face skirt, which is apparently a historic type style of Chinese clothing, who knew? Now listen, designing a high fashion skirt that resembles an ancient Chinese style is no joke. It's easy to understand how hurt and offended someone could be, especially when you consider just how similar the skirts are. I mean, take a look, if you're, if you're watching on on TV, you can see it if you're listening on podcast. They look, they don't look that similar. They don't look at all like each other. They look absolutely nothing alike besides the fact that they're both, I guess, flared tubes of fabric that contain human legs. That's about it as far as the skirt thing goes. I mean, I guess I could see some similar pleats in there, but does that mean that we have to go back and lose every pair of male slacks from 1996? Yes, we actually should do that, but that's a totally different story. Honestly, the only cultural appropriation I see here is that of Vin Diesel from the 2003 European Music Awards. If you've never seen that picture, go Google it right now. Uh, bold choice, Vin. Nothing says family like leather cross-dressing, but it's never cool to mock someone's culture, except when I do it. And that's what's important to remember. What happened to the days when we were a country that embraced other cultures? folded it into our own, you know, some sort of giant, I don't know the term, melting pot? In some ways, I guess we're still there. The official dip of the NFL was freaking hummus for a while. The number one condiment in all of America is salsa. I know culture is not all about food and fashion, but this is how human beings accept others. We find stuff that others have. We say we like that stuff. It helps us understand them and what their life experience is. We melt in the pot together. And yes, Jill, we can integrate other cultures into our own without referring to people as breakfast tacos. It's difficult, but it's possible. The sharing of culture should not be controversial, especially when it comes to skirts that you can find at any hot topic for 20 bucks. It's probably a good sign that America is such an amazing country. We have to make up stupid crap like this to be upset about. But unfortunately for us, that pendulum swings both ways. And for now, at least, we just have to accept that everything is racist. Everything is racist. Every thought you have is a KKK dream. Everything is racist.